fancy meeting you here in this little, little old place. I'm Tish, and this is Echo Echo. How is everybody going? I'm getting in to the habit of using the 4K. All right. <clears throat> We've got another anti-MLM video coming at you. Hopefully, like it's only 9.39. That's early for me. So, but if we get tired, we're going to stop because my awakened video from the other night when I was tired at the end, not a, like it's hilarious, like <laughs> lulls, you know, oh, Tish fell asleep again, but I missed really important stuff, you know, when I was too tired, so I've re-taped that ending, um, it's ready to go back up, but yeah, I, I felt silly, and then uh, my latest video, Top Knot Fails, come on, get into focus, girl, Top Knot Fails, there was a whole bit in there that I was supposed to erase, okay, so what we got happening uh here is so winning uh Megan Desart. Um it's lucky she's not a teacher because the kids would have fun with her surname. Anyway, tell you, like I'm I don't want to get married to anyone, but if I did, I'd really have to consider like surname. It's important. Anyway, uh, Megan has a training for the Awakened Nation. And I think it's on how to use TikTok to recruit, from what I can recall. Uh, yeah, so let's watch it. Let's do it. Own TikTok and Reels training. I'm so excited. So drop me some fire emojis below if you would love to have endless leads, generate endless leads on social media. That's TikTok and Reels, what TikTok and Reels can do for your business. The TikTokification of social media has changed the playing field and changed. Is she creating her own language? Are we, is this the new Shakespeare? Is this the new Shakespeare? <laughs> the TikTokification. Oh my God. Wow. And endless leads, really, really. Uh, isn't that funny? Because, hmm, Daniel Mioli, right? You know, the, the CSO of the company. Uh, she has said, oh, my brother. Everybody thinks my brother's involved with the NFTs and the crypto. And he's not. He's not. But guess what her, her brother her brother's company does it's called wisp w h i s p and they give out leads <laughs> so they actually provide leads for sales companies hmm interesting right uh, the reason why i know this is because i was looking to see whether danielle had a tie with metamask the crypto wallet the only the only wallet that they are allowing their buyers to use which is ridiculous because it shouldn't matter where the ethereum comes from it, if it's just ethereum but i think that there must be something to do with storing well like storing the image on the same thing on the same in the same wallet it's very strange i don't know why but but that's why i know what her brother david T tedesio or something like that he's listed as one of the admins on the facebook group and his name did appear in the first article from behind mlm anyway let's see what let's see how megan can help us out changed the game so back in the day to get 20, 30, 40, 50,000, 100,000 views on a piece of content, you had to have a massive following on Facebook or Instagram, right? And if you guys follow Gary Vaynerchuk, he talks about the TikTok, TikTokification of social media and what it's done for people in their business, which is... She didn't even... So she's not Shakespeare. Gary V thought of it. <laughs> I, I, I gave it too much credit, didn't I? Thanks for... Thanks for citing your source there, Megzi. Um, hmm, Gary V. He sucks as well. He basically has made NFTs a joke because he was selling doodles, and that's why artists 
are not ever going to take it seriously. I don't think anyway. It's massive. And I'm going to tell you how to capitalize on that. Um, but it's changed the game because now people with zero following can put up a piece of content on reels or TikTok and it go viral or get 20, 30, 40, 50,000, a hundred thousand views. And they have literally zero, zero following. So the TikTokification. Does anyone else play that game? If you make the circle and you look at it, you punch, you get punched. There's one fly buzzing around me. I can't swear I'm not like dancing in my seat. Um, mm, some, some students will do that. Miss Luke. And I'll be like, are you going to punch me? <laughs> really? There'd be people who'd say yes to that, but you know, whatever. Oh, I do need to make her a little bit quicker. I'm not going to go too quick though, because we know what happens. I missed her. All right. Uh, so I don't think that she, look, I don't think that that is an effective way to prospect because People get pissed off when, say, you go viral for something and then you start selling them a product. I think you'll find it. That's a really, a really quick way of getting a bad reputation. And just as easily as you can get picked up and go viral, you can get, like, annihilated. There was the, the lady from Prove It. Oh, God, what was her name? Brittany, Brittany, J, Brittany something, and Brittany and her partner played a joke on their kids. Now, she had over a million subscribers on, or a million followers on TikTok. She also works for Prove It, and they, there was like a prank where you had to prank your kids and go as far as you could go. Anyway, her prank to her kids was that she'd had a miscarriage and they had a sister or a brother who who died and didn't like they never got to know them yeah thanks mum and dad for the tra thanks for the trauma i'll be charging you the doctor's bill in the future yes yeah, so she got universally cancelled on tiktok for that and you know that was one moment she's done she did like two three apologies and you know, took back the apology, but do you know what else came with that? When I looked for it, oh, there are about 20, 20 plus stories about how she'd done it. So what I'm trying to say, be careful of how you wield that power because shit like this can really, can really get you into trouble. And maybe you got some parts of some little, like, you know how people dig stuff up. You just got to be careful. There's a lot, a lot of armchair uh, experts out there who get in and they have Facebook groups. Look at the guy, what's his name? The Luca, oh, you know, don't, it's the Don't Fuck With Cat documentary. Amazing. Check it out. If you're not jumping on this bandwagon, you are missing out on this wave, which is going to, is really has taken over this last year of the way people operate on social media, the way people do business and market on social media. And it's, it's the wave of the future. Lisa's the wave of the future. Wave of the future. Reels and TikTok is, and the TikTokification of social media is going to be a huge wave over the next, you know, five, 10 years. So if you guys don't follow Gary Vee, go to TikTok, follow Gary Vaynerchuk. He talks a lot about this. And I will tell you right now, I've had my biggest sales month, personal sales, using TikTok and leads ever in network marketing. And if you guys want to know how I'm at the top of the recruiting leaderboards all the time, it's because of TikTok and Reels, to be honest with you. That is where I'm generating most of my leads anymore. It's not through Facebook Live. It's not through my pretty social media posts. Those are still all very valuable. Don't get me wrong. I am a firm believer in putting out content on all the platforms in multiple different ways. But I will tell you, you got to be using TikTok and Reels if you truly, truly want to um, just have gener massive leads reaching out to you all the time, okay? So I'm going to talk about how to make, I'm not going to go into super advanced training today, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show my um, screen on my phone, actually, I'm going to do a screen share on my phone. I'm going to show you how to make a TikTok and then I'm going to give you guys, oh God, help us. Uh, I'm trying to think about how to word this, but it feels like this is a con in itself. I don't know. For me, as a, a never MLMer, 
I would not be clicking on it saying, how did you get the in? You know, like, I'm not the market for it. Would this work? That's all I'm trying to say. Would would her prospecting work on TikTok for you? I mean, I've seen it. I've seen her reels. They're stupid. That they, they would not appeal to me whatsoever. Even if I was looking for weight loss things, no, wouldn't I? Would not click on it. As a little challenge at the end on a specific TikTok that I want you to recreate. And, and share with us in the comments after you make it, like, how did it do? What was your experience? Did you generate any leads? Um, TikTok can be a little bit, of course, my eyelashes are going to be weird right now. TikTok can um, be tricky on conversion. And so I'm going to share with you a tool that's going to help, help you convert these leads into paying customers and people who are joining your business. TikTok isn't the greatest platform for making connections, like the old school network marketing, where you like build a connection with someone, a relationship with someone, nurture that relationship, and then they join or buy you. It's a very much... Um, there's a buying behavior on TikTok where, and once we are open for customers, the customer side is open, you guys, I'm going to teach you how you can put up a TikTok and how to have people literally click your link from TikTok and purchase from you. And you can have massive amounts of customers buying this product from you without you ever having to have a conversation with them, <clears throat> which is massive. That seems really shitty, especially when at the product that you are selling is a weight loss and you are claiming all these medical things mm. and tiktok doesn't allow network marketing have you fucking mentioned that nope my last company eight to ten thousand dollars in personal sales per month without having conversations with these people until after they purchased, then I would I'd reach out to them. But they would buy just from watching my TikTok. So we're going to have a good time today. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Oops. Checking on your lies. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. We're going to go over your bio, your profile, how to create content, what kind of content to create, and then how to put up content that's going to have people wanting to join you and, and purchase from you, and then how to convert them. <laughs> Excuse me. So your bio, well, let's talk about your profile picture. Your profile picture should be you smiling your face. It should be somewhat of a close-up. It should not be you and your husband. It should not be you and your kids. It should not be your dog, your pet, a cartoon, just your kids. It needs to be you, okay? So there is number one. You want to have a bio, okay? Uh, let me say this really quick too. So I don't have a massive following. I have 18,200, okay? But I've only been doing TikTok for a year. <clears throat> let me put that into perspective for you. Now, there's people that... Um, you, can get a, you can get a large following very quickly, like... Uh... Afuala, you know, she destroys men on TikTok. Her, her, she has to make new TikToks all the time because of people reporting them. And uh, she always gets her people back up. Now, does everybody remember Megan a couple of weeks ago? She, uh, she was telling everybody how she's not told what to put in her TikToks, uh, well, in her social media. No one tells me what to put in my social media. Oh, I'm not a part of a cult. I don't do that. But people out there literally have lost their ever-loving minds, like trying to tell people what they should and should not do, what they can and cannot do. People acting like it's a damn cult, like they own people. <laughs> no one owns me, okay? Like nobody's going to tell me what I can and cannot do on my social media. No one's going to tell me what product I can and cannot promote. If you try to, you're in a cult. If it walks like a cult, it smells like... Oh. But you can do it, right? You can do it. You can tell people what to put in their fucking social media. And is it really authentic if you don't share who you are? Mm. My nose is very itchy. Oh, look, her top pinned. So, is a before and after. Oh, no, that's in her drafts. Sorry, it's in her drafts. Oh, she's waiting. She's waiting to let it go because, um, well, maybe that's the post she's going to show us. All right, just shut up and watch, Tish. Okay, well, you know, you know what I, I don't, this is just a little gripe, okay? When people in the commentary and reaction community apologize <laughs> for talking, <laughs> I've seen a few commentators saying, oh, I'm sorry, I just have to say this. I'm like, your whole video is just have to say everything. Like, don't apologize. Just go. It's your channel. <laughs> All right, keep going. I've been doing TikTok for a year that have way bigger accounts than me, okay? 
Um, I was a little slow going on it because I didn't realize. I was just putting up like one TikTok here. And when I first started TikTok, I put up like one TikTok during the week and then another TikTok next week. And so it grew really slow. When I finally started to dig in, which is probably about eight months ago, that's when it started growing very fast. To grow your following on TikTok in a fast way, you need to be putting up two to three TikToks per day, okay? One in the morning, one midday, one in the evening, all right? Or one in the morning and one in the evening at least. Your bio, you need to have a bio. Who are you? What do you do? Do you help people? What do you help people with? What are your passions, your niches? Kind of like your Facebook bio. Okay, so uh, Megan's big news, big news on, uh, on TikTok, on social media, you need to have a bio. Oh, that's what we're paying the big bucks for. Thanks, Megan. Really? We need to have a bio. What a fucking idiot she is. I don't know. I think this is all, it, it, it's all so, I don't know. It just, it feels so inauthentic, but yeah. It's very similar to my Facebook bio, okay? You're going to hear two sides of the fence on TikTok. One side of the fence says you have to have one niche where you're only talking about one thing. Like, let's say you cook keto meals. There, People are going to tell you, just post your keto meals and don't post anything else. You're going to hear people that say you don't need a niche because you don't, okay? Because I don't want you to get too hung up on going, I don't have one particular niche that I'm good at one thing, right? Um, but if you do, then... Oh, you're going to have a niche, all right? It's going to be weight loss, definitely. But, yeah, TikTok does have its corners of the interwebs. But I think what... I think what she's missing here is the... The personality side of TikTok, like it is um, heavily dependent on who you are as a person. And when you present something and it's not true or accurate or you're doing it for ulterior, ulter, ulterior, with ulterior motives, that's when TikTok gets pissed off, okay? Um, have you heard of the the guy who lived in the smallest, uh, like, apartment in New York and he, like, he was trying out for Juilliard and he didn't get in and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, like, people found out that it wasn't quite accurate and he hadn't even applied and blah, blah, blah. But that's what they do. That's t typical TikTok behavior where they track down who was this person. And same, all in with Ari or whatever, Ronnie, you know. They found who she really was. So it's so ridiculous to be giving this advice of being anything except authentic. You know, that's the content you should definitely be sharing because that's going to attract the people that want to follow you for that. And then you're going to weave in product and opportunity TikToks to that audience that you have captured because of the niche niche that you have. Okay. My niche is a little bit more broad. It's my top five, basically Manif manifestation, money, mindset, and health are my top four. And then personality, like funny trending ones, right. Um, that I do, or like things about being a mom, but those are my top four topics that I talk about. Those are my top four topics that I provide value, education, inspiration on, on Facebook. Now I've just converted that to TikTok and I make 15 to 30 second clips, video clips on these topics. So if you have like your top five passions, maybe it's faith, family, fitness, uh, you know, whatever travel, uh, uh that sounds boring. Uh, maybe you're a taxidermist. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you have your top five that you talk about on Facebook. You've probably heard that your five pillars, right? Of your interests and topics. And all you're going to do is convert that now to making valuable, inspirational, and educational TikToks and reels. Okay. And I'm going to talk about the format of that. It's kind of like, ask a question, like, uh, let me play you one that kind of has that format. Ask a question to a pain point, have a solution and have a, a way for them to reach out, um, get more information from you, purchase from you. Okay. So let me just play one. Let me ask you a question. Are you one of those women that no matter what you do, calorie deficit, counting calories, counting macros, exercising every single day, you cannot lose weight? Raise your hand. Um, how much engagement are you getting there, Megzi? Because I can only see, I'm going to try and I'll just make my screen a bit bigger, 83 maybe with 14 comments, right? Not that good, sweetheart. 
I'm going to fill you in on a secret that the diet culture doesn't want you to know. It's likely because you have too much leptin and not enough adiponectin. 17 years ago, there was a weight loss product on the market that was so effective it was selling 500,000 bottles per month. The product is backed by double-blind clinical studies where the average participant lost 21 pounds of pure fat. Not just weight loss, but fat loss. Super simple. Two of these capsules before lunch and before dinner, and you will become a fat-burning machine, okay? The reason I was taken off the market is because two formulators were fighting over the rights. Well, we now have global exclusive rights. Text me for info, and I'll hook you up. Okay, so that's an example, right? <clears throat> So what you're going to do on how to find content, how to create content, you don't need to worry. About so great. But I'd be like, who, who are you? What, what's happening? Why are you, you know what I mean? Like, mm, I want to look at a TikTok now. About copying people on TikTok. That's what everyone does. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I want you to go follow other leaders in the industry, other people crushing it on TikTok who are in network marketing. They don't need to be in the same company as you. And then watch the kind of TikToks they're making, still save the sounds, copy it, go create one, recreate it with your flair, your vibe, your product, your opportunity. And I'll show you how you can go and save people's bit sound, how you can save the sound and how you can save the video so that you have it in your folder to watch later and recreate. Okay. So that's a little bit about creating, you know, what, to, how to create content. Okay. So, um, you know, affirmations, I did an affirmations one, uh, I do mindset a lot. You have got to stop living for other people. It doesn't matter what your husband wants, what your kids want. I'm going to go to, that has a cuss word in it. <laughs> that was aggressive. Okay. So she's got 18.4K followers and she has it in your, in the bio, helping you with manifestation, money and minds, money and mindset and health. Sweetie, you don't need an extra and in there. Okay. Uh, her link. Let's see where the link goes. This might have to be a two-parter. I'm not tired yet, though. Oh, I need to write down. Oh. Um, te text. Oh, so basically. Oh, that word. All the things she just said. Right there on the... <laughs> nearly word for word and it's really only like it's a really only the business like there's nothing else there uh and it's a google docs a google doc google google can you stop working with mlms please don't let them use your your uh google doc uh okay so Let's have a look. That, that one's got the most. So she's got one with 87.9K. Uh, what's it called? Um, views. It has 87K views, but only 4,500 likes. And it says, uh, I'm 42, have three kids, live in Oregon, love traveling, crystals, champagne, laughing, and dancing. Tell me about you in the comments. God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see what the sound is. Um, I'm more confused now. <laughs> okay, let's see what she says. Oh, she's not there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's connect. Hey, girl. Hey. And waving. Uh, a little bit more personal than uh, Sydney from Prove It, but this is a pretty big. That was that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um. Okay. So she doesn't even look like herself in this picture. Jesus. Trade in your compliments for gratitude. So she's got six comments on this. And that's it. 85 likes. She does not have the best. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I would be asking the host. Well, she was probably asked because when, um, you know, like she, if someone said, "Hey, can you do any and do a thing on TikTok?" Let's get Megan. She's really good. She's been recruiting off of TikTok. Well, I'd like to know how you're doing that with 23 likes and six comments. 
gross. You're using recovery to fucking recruit. That's the 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 blue one there in her one in her on her screen with 440 views. Ew. Uh, yeah, so she's like, put it, she goes to the end, I'll go to, I'll go to the end and do a screenshot, but I need to, sorry for getting stuck on this, I just really wanted to see what her TikTok was like. And the last bit says, I never saw a successful seven-figure business owner in my future. Well, that's good, because you're not a fucking business owner. Uh, you know, your little friend, Danielle, who you sucked up to? Uh, she's the owner, but can we just stop? Look, sweetheart, if you learn anything, you only need a capital at the beginning of a sentence, okay, capital letter, beginning of the sentence, and for proper nouns. That's it, all right? Sometimes people will put capitals in titles of songs and books and things like that. As long as you're consistent, that's the main thing. This thing on TikTok didn't need this many capital letters, but all right. God damn it. I'm getting into it. Now I'm getting petty. Hi from the middle of the video. Nice meeting you here. Anyway, instead of just sort of scrolling on my phone that you can't see, I uh, decided to do a little quick reaction to her, her top TikToks. All right, let's do it. You have got to stop living for other people. It doesn't matter what your husband wants, what your kids want, what your parents want. What do you motherfucking want? You have to make decisions based on what you want to do and how you want to live your life. That is how you're truly going to be happy. If I could give you any advice, stop listening to what other people want for you and do what you want for you. Mm. Uh, but for good. That's very toxic. Seriously, like, are you kidding me? Oh, so the first TikTok, fuck everyone. Megan's a mother of three, married with a mother of three, and as a mother of three, fuck them. Do your MLM. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. All right. Next. Oh, it was so aggressive, too. It was like very aggressive. All right. Okay. Next one. Let's turn it up a bit. Hey? I just came on here to say some days I have days where I just want. Do that. I just want to do that. I'm done. Have a good day. We stopped it. All right. Let's go to the beginning of this one. I don't like it. I remember thinking that I'd be a drug addict for the rest of my life. That I either end up dead or in prison like so many of my friends around me. I'm proud of you. Look how far you've come. Don't forget where you came from. I don't like it. I don't like it when you use drug addiction for your pyramid scheme. It's it's just so unethical. Uh, yeah, look, great. You know, I don't. I don't think I deserve any pats on the back for fucking surviving my addiction. Okay. Yeah, I'm not expecting anyone to do or say anything because it's not for anyone else except for me. You know? Great if they say good things, but I'm like, it's always been for me. The addiction was for me, you know? And to use it? To, to sell your shitty recycled diet bill? Gross. 
Uh, now, I think you'll, if you would like to take a note, she does batch film. So all of these ones where she's like, I'm in the I don't give a fuck mood today, also IDAGF mood today. Um, also in that, the video where she was punching at the air, her shirt said, Alexa, can we change the president? So yeah. we'll watch another one in a, in a little while tonight. It's going to tell you who she is at, at heart. I'm gonna watch that again because it was so fucking loud. Um, I don't think I think she's got a bit of a problem with with it being too loud because it starts to. Re reverb. There you go. So her thing there, I'm going to just put it on mute so we don't have to hear that again. Uh, from fear of walking away. Okay. From fear of, fear of walking away from a cozy income to take a risk on a new company. Fuck off. Network marketing is not a cozy income. And then growing a bigger team by 1,500 in six weeks with 40 more times more sales and realizing it's the best decision I ever made. Random capitals. But she does that because she presses enter. I thought you could make your... Yeah, I think you could do centered justification in TikTok. There you go. All right. Uh, oh, this one. Oh, I know. I need to. I need to. I'm probably going to get it. Probably shouldn't. Uh, to all the girls who were told they talk too much and were extremely strong willed as a kid. And the shirt says bleaching. <laughs> the boss, the boss. <laughs> uh, I am officially deceased. Rest in peace to me. Oh my god, the boss! How's self employment treating you? Yeah, good, good work, Megzy. Good work, honey. <laughs> um, which one haven't we done? We haven't done this one, or oh, maybe we have, but that's okay. We'll watch it again. Bitch, I'm stylish. Black talk, big T-shirt, Billy Eilish. Watch on my wrist, but I want that diamond. <laughs> I need the moves of that one. That's the one she's teaching them how to do. Because she's got this really cool transition. Didn't you see it? Let's watch it again. Are you ready for the, the really cool transition? Ready? Do it along with her. Bitch, I'm stylish. Black talk, big t-shirt, Billy. Watch on my wrist, but I want that diamond. Pretty cool. All right. Um... Uh... She done that one. I think we might have done that one. Speak up when I hop Speak up when I hop about the cut, I promise I'm gonna speak up when I hop about the cut, I promise I'm gonna make a scene. Got lights, cameras, action, but I promise that I won't be.
Let's go through it slowly. All you care about is money. You've changed. I miss the old you. I'm jealous of your success and don't have you to drink and gossip with me anymore. So they're jealous of you, but they miss your friendship. It sounds like an interesting dichotomy for a friend. Uh, who's your bestie? No, sh no shame sales game because she, she's got, she hates women. Uh, anyway, I, I think that was a really sad one without, I don't think she would have realized how it, it is sad when people say you've changed, you know, or, um, I don't know you anymore. Or something. What, what did it say? You've changed. I miss the old you. That's it. When I hop about mm. the cut, I promise I'm gonna make a scene. Got lights, cameras, action, but I promise that I won't be. Mm. I miss the old you. That's an interesting one because that's obviously something she's heard, and that people are saying you know to her All right this one where she she her face is really distorted in this one it could be a filter but it just doesn't look like her i don't know who needs to hear this but your complaining is keeping you stuck complaining about your job complaining about your kids complaining about your marriage complaining about the traffic all that complaining you do all day long it's a complete waste of time and if your life isn't the way you want it to be. If you're not living a life that you're absolutely obsessed with, I'll tell you what it is. You're complaining too much. All right? <laughs> I love how aggressive she is. You've got to stop complaining. Oh, I'm so glad I found this TikTok account that empowers me. Uh, I think that might be it. Uh, we want the one, I want the Coolio one. I just, I'll get demonetized. R.I.P. Coolio, for all you white girls who thought you were a gangster thug in high school, but you grew up in the preppy white suburbs, same. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it. Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of. You better watch how you're talking and where you're walking. Or you and your that. homies might be lying in chalk. Didn't I? Didn't the MLMs love this? Let me ask you a question. Are you one of those women that no matter what you do, calorie deficit, counting calories, counting macros? What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you talking like, like today or like in general? What the fuck is wrong with you? All right, we're going to leave it there. So, yeah, look, um, it's same, same. And like she said, how on her TikTok, well, I do man at health, money, money, mind, Something else, some other shit. It's at the beginning of this, actually. Manifestation, money, mindset, and health connect with me. Um, that's all of those were the same fucking thing. All right, they were the same thing, and they're aggressive and dumb. Like seriously, I don't see the appeal at all. I would not stop, I would not like, I would be not, even if I was interested, like I said, in losing weight, I would not be, and I'd be like, oh, fuck off, man. Like, 
why are you yelling at me? You don't even know me yet. You know? All right. Well, back to the video. Back to the video. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> just stop again for a minute. I was just trying out different smiles, you know. Go again. Go a deer, a female deer. Okay. Back to Megan being like thinking she's cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not play that because I'm not here to offend anyone. Um, but I make a lot of content around health. One that I'm going to have you guys recreate at the end, I'll show you. But I have a lot of content around mindset, health, manifestation, money, then the opportunity and the product. Okay. You should be doing a product or opportunity TikTok multiple times per week. Okay. Some people only make product ones every single day and they do well, but I like to give people value and education on TikTok and not just be spamming my content, my, my product all over. So that's a little bit about your bio. Okay. Well, I did just watch one about apparently about health and addiction where you talked about your business. So I wouldn't say that you know, set it up. Once you have 1000 followers, your goal on TikTok is to get to 1000 followers as quickly as possible, because then you can put a link there. And I do not want you to put your awakened link. No. Okay. Why? Why wouldn't you do that? Megan? Oh, <laughs> you can make a link tree or a milkshake site. I'll click mine and I'll show you because here's the power in this. Once we are open for customers, don't you want people to see a product video on TikTok and want to buy the product so bad they click your link in your bio and they just purchase from you? And you don't even have to have a conversation with them. That is what TikTok can do for you. So people have, well, I used to sell so much product using TikTok and I'm about to again, once we open for customers, like the floodgates are going to open so they can just click my, my milkshake link. Okay. Now I have a lot of people going, gosh, Megan has her phone number all over her TikTok. I would never do that. That is not my phone number. That is a generated phone number from Project Broadcast. Okay. And I'm going to talk about that. That's how I convert people. Okay. That is a texting service. Did you just hear her say that's how she converts people? That is concerning language to use. Hmm. That, again, I will show you at the end how to capture leads and convert. So that is not my phone number. But it kind of tells them text. If you want more info, you can text here, okay? Because then I have a generated message that sends them a te text message if they need more info. Then down here, I'm going to have my awakened link. It's going to say, instead of like interested in the business opportunity, click here. They can click that. That takes them to my Google form that they can fill out. Uh, but I'm also going to have my, it's going to say like, buy product here because you can name these, right? So if, then I'll have it linked there. They can just click that link and purchase the product. Right now, what they can do is they can click this and it takes them right to my testimonial group. They can connect with me on Facebook. It takes them right to my Facebook page where they can send me a friend request. So that milkshake link captures so many people, okay? And once that once our link is open for customers, they can click my milkshake link, click my link right from there and purchase the product, okay? So get to a thousand followers so you can put your link there, not your awakened link, but a link. That Love it. Get to a thousand followers. Just get there. Have to sorry, I have to remember to be looking up here. I'm sorry, Lemix. I'm sorry. You create a link tree or a milkshake link. They're both super easy. Milkshake is an app you can get on your phone. It walks you through setup. So easy. Has different tons of different templates. That's a whole training for another day, but you don't really need a training. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory. Okay. So, so it's TikTok, um, but here we are. So yes. Let me, I already talk about like fall, growing following very fast. So think about this. When you post a piece of content and you have zero following and all of a sudden you get, here's one that has 87,000 views. Think about how many followers that generated very quickly. And my, my page jumped 3,000 followers in a day. I've only been growing this for a year, like I said. So I have 18,000 followers in a year. Lots of people have way more than me. But let me put it into perspective. I've been growing my Facebook page for eight years and I have 6,000 followers and almost 5,000 friends. So let, let's call it 11,000. I have 11,000 in eight years on Facebook. I have 18,000 in one year on TikTok. Okay. So how do you make a TikTok? Well, first of all, let's talk about the for you page that I want you to start looking at, getting ideas from, how to save someone else's video to your, your favorites. So there's a favorite folder. Okay. So when you're on TikTok, <laughs> see that little arrow? Right <laughs> <laughs> if you hit save, it takes you to add to favorite. You're going to add it to your favorite. Then what you can do, so that just... Sis, what do you have the sound on? And you talk at the same time. You just click that little arrow. You're on someone's TikTok. There's a little arrow. You click that. You click add to favorites. Then what you do is you click this little folder up here and it has all the favorites that I've favorited that I'm going to go get ideas from. 
Okay, then I'm going to go recreate my own version of these that I like, whether they're network marketing, whether they're mindset, whether they provided value, or maybe I liked the sound on it. Um, so that well, I don't know what happened then. She sounds like she's turned herself down because of the because of the sound coming out of her. Oh, I don't want to give away what I'm making. You'll guess. What's your favorite folder that you can go save a bunch and you should get in the habit of doing that. <laughs> get in the habit of doing that, saving a bunch to your favorites folder so that you then have tons of content that you can go copy and recreate, okay? Don't worry about, I'm copying someone. Everyone on TikTok copies. Also pay attention to trending sounds and trending videos, okay? So how do you get someone's sound? For example, <laughs> see that original sound? I'm going to check that sound, okay? And here is the sound and all the videos that have used that sound now. It has 11.7 11, 11 videos with that sound. That's pretty good. That means it's on the upswing of trending right now. You don't want to get one that has like 5 billion videos that have used that sound because your video is going to get lost in a sea of 5 billion other people using that sound. So your chances of going viral or showing up on the For You page, it diminishes, okay? But anything between 10,000 and 50,000 in this right here, that's a good sound to use, okay? That's kind of trending. So all you do is add it to favorites and I'll show you how to access that later, okay? And you can also use the sound right here at the bottom and, and the sound is already there for you. So then go make your TikTok using that sound, okay? So that's how to do favorite. <laughs> it's going to play it again. Um, so let's talk about how to actually make a TikTok. We're going to make just a really quick sample TikTok. I'm going to show you how to access my favorited sounds, okay? So see the plus sign on the bottom? You're just going to click that, okay? And add sound. See up here where it says add sound? I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to click favorites. Now on Discover, these ones are all trending. It even has like down here TikTok viral sounds. But all these recommended, those are all sounds that are trending right now that you should use. Definitely use trending sounds. Your chances of being exposed or going viral are much higher. And I'll talk about the TikTok algorithm because it's not like the Facebook algorithm. It's completely different, okay? But I'm gonna go to my favorite sounds. Let's see what I got going on here. <laughs> okay, I like this one. We're gonna do this. I have my Zenith here, actually. Oh, I don't want that. <laughs> um. So the sound's ready to go, okay? You can hit the timer button. You can pick three seconds or 10 seconds. We're gonna pick three. Oops. We're gonna start over because I wanna show you something. What you can do, very, this is a cool trick, okay? If you wonder how people do transitions, like they're, they're in one outfit in one clip and then another outfit in another, you hit the timer button, you set this little bar down here where you want it to cut off. So we're going to do something here. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? Oh, damn. I need Trisha again. Uh, what is happening? Why, Megan? It's like, just make another one. <laughs> The cringe. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna count down. Now it's paused, so I'm gonna grab my zenith. I'm gonna put this down for a second. Sorry, I know that's you're watching the screen. So now I have my zenith, right? Black top, big t-shirt, Billy. Watch on my wrist when I want that. Let's see what the sound was. Now we're gonna count it down. Watch on my wrist when I want that. Spit that out. So now what you can do is add text. Are you mom? Oh, that's why it's a capital. I just worked out why it's a capital. See, you see. As a aficionado, I, I haven't done transitions. I just haven't learned them. But even that was confusing. And I use the, I use this app quite regularly, like almost daily, because of Wilbur's ball of the day. Anyone? You're missing out on a little bit of serotonin. Wilbur has her ball of the day every day. He chooses one ball to chase around the yard, and that's it. And it's different every day. Anyway, we do ball of the day on. TikTok and sometimes my headings, I want them to be, you know, um, a little bit different or a little bit less, you know, centered, whatever. And so I'll have to press enter. She's pressing enter. That's why she has capitals, random capitals in the middle of nowhere. But 
That is that was confusing. Why did you start with one with a transition? Uh, and she does like the almost like naturally. It's very. If I was her child, I would be really confused about who she, like who's the real Megan. Oh damn! Let's not open that Pandora's box, okay? And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to set duration. So you, can, you can set your duration. So I'm going to have it to when I'm... Okay, we're gonna set the duration of this where I'm pointing this way, right? I don't understand why she did the thing with the transition because it, it basically looks the same as when I do something. The duration of this. Oh, that hurts me so much with all the capitals. Um, but I don't. Th it gets to the root cause of weight gain. Bitch, who do you think you are? Like seriously. And this is why you know, like, yeah, you can have all that shit, but doesn't mean you're gonna sell anything because who are you? You're not a doctor. You're not a dietitian. You're no one. Then you can add a picture. So you're going to add a sticker, okay? I'm just going to go to my pictures. Oh, let's go back. I'm going to set the duration of that. It's so stylish. Black top, big t-shirt, Billy. I throw my wrist, but I want that diamond. We're going to set the duration of this. Then you can add a picture. So you're going to add a sticker, okay? I'm going to go to my pictures. And then I'm going to set the duration of that, okay? And let's see. And then we're going to put the texting number at the end so that protects me. It's my project broadcast. It's so stylish. Black top, big t shirt, Billy. Watch on my wrist, but I want that diamond. If I was just like scrolling, I would think that that was just amphetamines. Because, you know, <laughs> what else would it be, especially in your 15 seconds that you can't communicate anything, really? Set the duration of this. So I'm just using this to set the duration of those text and stickers, right? So now, it's a little delayed here. It's so stylish. Black top, big t shirt, Billy. Watch on my wrist, but I want that diamond. Okay. So now you have your TikTok made. You hit the arrow or the, the plus sign at the bottom. You make your TikTok. You can set the timer and then move that, that arrow to where you want it to pause for your clips. Or you can just make one solid clip, okay? Um, I like to sometimes break it up, especially if I'm doing like an outfit change or different scenes, right? And then you're going to put in whatever you want as your caption. Sorry, I realize my camera is going in and out of focus. I don't know what's going on. Um, I was sick of trying everything. And you want a hashtag, okay? Hashtags are so important, you guys, okay? They sure are. That's, what, that's how we find you. I found the missing link. 
Okay. So let's talk hashtags. There are trending hashtags. You want to use about between five and eight, five and eight. You used to only be able to do five on TikTok. Now they let you do more. So more is better. So I'll put in between five and 10 usually, five and eight, somewhere in there. Hashtags, play with it. Sometimes use five, sometimes use 10, sometimes use eight. Okay. You want to use one, sometimes maybe two of the trending hashtags. And then the other hashtag should be specifically niche to what your video is about. So when you type in the hashtag thing, they're going to give you the most trending. I don't think niche is a word, but I will have to check that. Trending hashtag. Did you yawn? That's a trending hashtag right now. Has no relation to the video, but it's a trending hashtag, okay? And then um, let's see what else I got on here. Um, health motivation. <laughs> I uh, I never put unrelated hashtags on mine. And I always wondered. I'd seen, like, on other people's titties. So when you type in a hashtag, let's just look at this because I'm going to share with you. You don't want to use a bunch of hashtags. If you've just been in weight loss, 63.3 billion people are using the hashtag weight loss. Don't want to use a ton of those that have these massive numbers because you now are competing with 63 billion other people using that. Your, your TikTok's going to get lost. Yeah, but wouldn't it be like in combination with other things, you know? Hmm. Lost in a sea. Of 63 billion people. So if you're going to use a big one like that, just use one. The other ones you want between maybe 10,000 all the way up to like, you know, a million as far as people using it. And it should read. You should use some that are kind of more niche down and some that are kind of, you know, a lot more people are using. So let's do weight loss check. It's okay. So do you know what I use um, for my, for my hashtags? Um, I use words that are relevant to the topic of the TikTok. Mm. I know it's uh, it's unusual, but uh, that's what I'm here for. Eleven billion. Let's do moms on a mission. What's that one? Three hundred ninety-three thousand. Let's do viral fat loss. Seventy thousand. That's good. Let's do viral product. Let's do, we have one for 155 million or 423. Let's do that one. We're going to do, um, let's see, healthy, healthy weight loss. Let's try that one. Healthy weight loss journey. I like that. So we could do weight loss journey, weight loss journey. Um, can I just remind everybody right now that this is, this is a training. Okay. People. I'm looking to this woman for training. She she's a team leader, um, and people aren't being paid to be on this Zoom. So those poor people. I mean, you know, I, I'm I feel sorry for them, but not. She's got that girl on the team who was who was in uh, Clantown. Erin Clantown and Erin did videos on this lady, and she was getting she was saying, "Don't be rude." You have to stay, say hello. Don't be rude. She's on Megan's team, so. So I've got a good group of hashtags. Now what you can do is you can select what your cover your cover is. That that's what people see when they're scrolling. The first thing they see. So you can go here. That's not very eye catching, right? So maybe I go here when I actually have it. That might still be a scroll stopper. People might watch and stop this or stop and watch this because they're like, oh wait, what is this, right? So small stopper. Jesus. Let's use that. What you can also do is you can also go on here and put a sticker like that. So now it says viral fat loss. They can't really see what I'm putting in my mouth. Kind of creates curiosity. We're going to save that. Okay. So now you just post. I'm going to show so you some private clients are going wildly viral on two different platforms right now. And here's what they're both. So I posted that. But if I didn't want to post that, I'm just going to show you. I have one in the making. So let's do this. I haven't put any text on this. Black top, big t-shirt, Billy. If I go next, and I don't want to post it right now, I can even type in all my stuff, blah, 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 right? And then I'm done. Oops. And if I don't want to post it right now, I can hit down here where it says drafts. I can save it to my drafts. So what I like to do is make and batch a bunch of TikToks at one time. Now, when you make a TikTok, to save it to your other platforms, you're just going to click on it. You're going to click the three dots on the right-hand side and click save. I'll show you. 
it saved to my phone. Now I'm going to go post that on my Instagram reels and my Facebook reels. Okay. You want to be on all the platforms with your TikToks and your reels. I like to make mine in TikTok because I like the features better. I like the filters. I like the, it's more intuitive. I feel like it's simpler. I like sounds better. It's just for me, it's easier to make it on TikTok. I save it. I cross post it to all my, um, all my platforms. Okay. I'm with Megan on this one. I much prefer all of the fo- like the features on TikTok. Although I have been doing more reels, okay? I have been doing more reels, but for ball of the day, it's better. Uh, and whenever I – it's better for green screen, okay? The green screen on TikTok is way better. So I'd go with that one. Although I know that I don't think Instagram or Facebook likes TikTok, so – um, so then yeah, what I like to do is like two days a week, I will batch a bunch of TikToks when I'm like, I'm ready. I have my makeup on. You know, I love them. Oh, I love, everybody loves authentic, like content, don't they? And, uh, I will make like five or six, two times a week. What that does is gets it out of the way, right? Because making a TikTok and putting all the text on there, it's a little time consuming. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Especially when you're new and learning, it can take you some time to make it. So instead of having to think of something to make every single day, I will go in and I'll, I'll spend two days, right? One day, like at the beginning of the week and maybe at the end of the week, where I'll go in and I'll make like six per day. That way I have a bunch in my drafts. So my drafts right now, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five in my drafts right now. Okay. That's going to give me a couple days worth of content that I can post. Um, because you want, like I said, you want to post two to three times on TikTok if you really want to grow your account and have a better chance of, of reaching more people and going viral. So I'll batch a bunch. I'll spend a day on TikTok scrolling and going to... My nose has been ridiculously itchy in this one. Uh, mm. To other network marketing leaders that I follow on TikTok and looking through their TikToks to get ideas. I follow some network marketing coaches. I follow some mindset coaches. I follow some manifestation coaches, people that are into manifestation, money, mindset, and health and network marketing. That's who I follow on TikTok to get my ideas from, right? So I'll spend a day. So I know that also uh, some people do get called out for straight copying. If it's not like, of course, everybody copies the dancers. That's the whole idea, you know, like that's what really made TikTok go off. But I think you'll find with things like motivation and uh, like quotes and things like that, because d- if people know the story of only Jayus, so she was a content creator who did like facts, you know, did you know that this could happen and this could happen? And they were stealing from a black content creator basically and they got called out for being racist and blah, blah, blah. And then she was saying that she wanted to collab with other black voices to lift them up and amplify their voices, didn't come through with that and everybody called her out. So in that situation, you know, the copying wasn't a good thing so it's really interesting the way she's wording this because yep people do steal from each other but I think you'll find that it's still the same thing where you need to put your own spin on it you need to have your yourself as a part of it scrolling their stuff getting ideas getting content saved in my favorites and gathered getting sounds gathered and then I'll, I'll just bang out a bunch i'll bang out like you know five or six in two days so that's how to go through making a tiktok it's very very simple like i said you hit that this button at the bottom that was not simple i would have to watch that like even when she was creating it not nah, not simple sweetheart and you should have just done one the the elamia one that i saw was pretty good Okay, but it needs to be something that much simpler for beginners. Okay, make sure you're using your hashtags. Okay, so now let's talk about converting TikTok leads to purchasing from you or joining your team. Now, we don't have an opportunity right now yet. Now, if you're watching this after we're launched for customers, that's a mute point. So I'm going to talk about both. Okay, um, what does this texting thing do? So it, the reason I have text me the word is because, like I said, forming connections and talking to people on TikTok, people don't see matches, messages on TikTok. They don't have conversations on TikTok. They have a buying behavior where they see something. They're going to click your link and they're going to buy it from your link, which is great. You're going to get a lot of that. And then you have people that want that need more info, that they watch it and they're like, mm, I need more info, right? Or they see an opportunity and they're like, I need to have a conversation. I need to know about more of this opportunity, um, which I have recruited a ton of people from TikTok, okay, with Project Broadcast. Project Broadcast, let's go there and I'll just show you. Project Broadcast is an app, okay? And it's a mass texting service. And it gives you a number. So this is not my phone number that I have plastered all over Reels and TikToks. No, this gets sent to my TikTok, okay? 
or to my project broadcast, anyone who texts me. So all of these are leads, right? That I have connected with that have texted me the word fat loss. Okay. Um, so now what you can do is, so how do they get information? So I had to come back over here to tape because my camera went dead. So I apologize. I'm not in 4K anymore. She's still pretty. Okay, let's keep going with Megan. Uh, I was filming for about like another 15 minutes after this, damn it. Oh, uh, well, let's go. The name on Facebook. I'll send you a message right now. Um, so setting up a keyword. See that key at the top? These are different keywords, okay, that I set up. So you can just hit the plus sign right here at the top. Okay, let's do that. And we're going to type. Did everyone see all the boo subjects there? Boo team, boo, boo. Might be time to uh, clear out the old, uh, whatever this is, keyword. <laughs> the word money and let's just use money for the opportunity's sake. And then you're going to save it. Oh, I already used that. <laughs> let's do... Um, Let's do info. <laughs> Let's just do that. Just for a, an example. Then you're going to hit the save. And now you're going to go down here to reply message. Right here where it says reply message. And that little edit sign, you're going to edit that. And you're just going to type in, hey there, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're interested in learning more about this opportunity. Exclamation point. I mean, you may as well say blah, blah, blah. Wait. Now I'm going to type it. I would type in more, right? I'm not going to do it right now. This is just for an example. But that's where you're going to type in that message. And then this little save feature up there, boom. So now anytime someone texts the keyword info, they're going to get that text message automatically generated to them to your project broadcast. Okay. And then they can text you back. They can text you right to this. So that's why I use project broadcast because it helps me convert people from TikTok. Because again, TikTok is hard for conversions on staying on the TikTok platform. You need a way to get them off TikTok. And that's why... We need to report MLMs, MLM distributors using TikTok. Even if even if TikTok doesn't always like still lets them go on, we just need to keep reporting them. Yeah. And capture the information in another way. Either get them over to Facebook, which I do using Project Broadcast, get them on Project Broadcast, then you have their phone number, and using the milkshake link, which then you can set up. Now I will put she definitely docks that person. I will put up the number, but with like blurring it because I'm not going to dox that person. But I know that the name wasn't in there, but I think that it was still doxing because it's private information that someone trusted you with just by sending you a message. And they wouldn't have thought that it was coming to this place like this because, like I said, when the camera had turned off, this is she's given it away. She's given away all the secrets, you know. Um, like we know how ingenuine this is now because of, you know, things like this, there is nothing personal to this business in the way that, you know, she's doing it. And I think that that is part of the reason why people turn to network marketing or use network marketing because it's in all the reels, it's in all the Facebooks, it's in all the lives that the reason why people buy from you is because they want to buy from you, the person, you know, and, you know, because you're, they like you, your persona that you've put out there on social media, but that's not real either, you know, hmm, something to think about. With a Google form that they fill out for info, right? This is the Google form if they're interested in the business opportunity. Um, you can put your Facebook, how to connect with you on Facebook on there. So again, that's getting them off TikTok so that you can capture their information. You can capture their name, their phone number. Think about how that sounds. You got to get them off TikTok so that we can we can use them over here. You know that there's quite a few crimes that are kind of like that. Oh, we just need to let's go. Let's get off TikTok or let's get off Instagram and, um, oh, here's my number. You know, text me personally. That's what it seems like. Remember, get connected with them on Facebook so you can nurture that relationship and can connect with them over there and give them the business opportunity or the opportunity or the, the info on the product, okay? Imagine she, she's had, she has had signups from her TikTok. She's telling them exactly what she did to, to recruit them. They always do, you know. This is what you need to tell people to recruit them. <laughs> and you recruited people in your fucking in the meeting now, probably with the same tactics. And that person is sitting there not worried about it.
oh yeah we should do that not even connecting that they that's how they got into the company so tiktok is a way to generate endless endless leads for your business i have a challenge for you all who is up for the challenge i want you to comment below i'm doing this okay you're gonna put yourself out there now, I want you to take imperfect action. Your TikToks are not going to be good at first. Mine, if I, if I scrolled all the way back to the beginning, I would show you how awful they are. They literally had the worst lighting. I didn't know how to use any features. I didn't use, know how to use text. They were bad. But you know what? I saw people like crushing it in sales and generating leads, network marketers, just blowing it up on TikTok. And I thought, I'm going to learn this. I'm going to learn this. I'm going to put the videos up there. I don't care. Oh, so like everybody, when they first start using an app, if they're crap right now, they're going to be imperfect. I want you to take imperfect action. I want you to make them without overthinking it. Do not spend hours and hours and hours making one TikTok. Just make it, get it out there, do the best you can, use your hashtags, put in, you know, do the tips that I told you on here. This is a very basic TikTok training. There's way more advanced I can tell you. Let's talk about the algorithm real quick on TikTok. Don't delete your TikToks. You're going to see, look, this has zero views so far. This one that I just posted, zero views. Okay. Your mind might think, oh my gosh, it's not performing. I'm going to delete it. Deleting TikTok is a bad idea. It hurts your algorithm. Number two. TikTok only shows a very tiny, tiny, tiny group of people your TikTok at first. Very small. Your, not even your whole follower count. It shows like a very handful of your followers the TikTok and see how it's performing. Comments? No, because there's a tab now that says, you know, like if your friends have put up a new TikTok. So you'll go to that tab. Maybe she's not using it. Help your TikTok do better, perform better. Shares, if someone shares it, it really boosts it and likes, right? Someone likes it, comments, shares, it's performing good. So then if it's performing decent, they're going to then disperse it to a little bit more of your followers. They're going to, they're going to send. Wow. She's got the algorithm worked out. Well done. Duh. That to a little bit more of your followers, another group, a little bit bigger of a group. So instead of this, instead of this little group, it's like this big of a group. Okay. But they're going to see how it performs with that group. Okay. If it does well and people like liking the video, boom, they're going to send it out to m most of your following, bigger handful of your following. Okay. And people that aren't your followers that aren't following you, they're going to start sending it out to bigger groups. Um, my shitty ball of the day posts get like 200 or so views, which is nothing, but it's not about that. But I don't know. Obviously I've got like two, 10 people that I follow on TikTok. All of them don't know me. <laughs> okay if it performs well really well then like really well so for example this one that has eighty seven thousand views not viral but semi-viral but i've had tiktoks do like 500 i've had tiktok i've had a million video a million view video i've had two of those i've had two videos that did a million views so how do you get to a million views once they start why, 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 why isn't it one of your pinned tiktoks i'm gonna have to look now huh. we're sending it out to bigger groups and it's performing well and then the tiktok team evaluates the video and decides if it is bringing value to the platform. TikTok is all about bringing value to TikTok platform. If they decide this is actually something that can provide value to this platform, people are going to like this video. The TikTok team decides to make it a viral video and sends it out to the masses and it's all over the For You page, okay? The For You page is simply here. First of all, let me just back up at the top where it says <laughs> So these are all viral For You videos. The ones that have been set out, the ones that have been set out, once have been sent out to the fight page, the for you page. You want to be on the for you page, okay? That's where people are scrolling TikTok. So you have your following or for you, you that following or for you. That's where you want to be on the for you page, okay? So that's how the TikTok al algorithm. I think that that they would not put something that's an MLM product, like purposely make it go viral. You know, works all right as far as a video going viral. So your challenge. Today is to make, I'm going to go down, you're going to recreate this video, okay? And you're going to use hashtags that are related to it, whatever you kind of want to use and think about using. Remember, you want at least five hashtags, okay? This one, me and my team did, all of us did this, not all of us, everyone who's on TikTok, a, a large number of people on my team, this is why my team is crushing it right now, <laughs> is because we all made this video. Mine has 11,000 and I could go to a handful. I could go to five people on my team right now that made this video that all have 10,000, 11,000, uh, 8,000, that all the videos did really well and all of them are generating leads. Uh, Ashley Crawford, she did it, 10,000, tons of leads. She had them fill out a Google form. It was like over 150 people, leads. Heather Gilbert made this video. She crushed it. She's been a top number two enroller here this month because of TikTok, because of this video. You're going to go recreate this video. You're going to post it on your TikTok. You're also going to post it on your Facebook reels and your Instagram reels if you're on Instagram, okay? You ready for it? 
17 years ago, there was a viral fat loss product on the market that was so effective for weight loss, it was selling 500,000 bottles per month. It then went into a 14-year litigation over rights to the formula, and the original formulator just got global exclusive rights back, and it's about to go viral again. It's backed by a double patent and double-blind clinical studies where the average participant lost over 21 pounds of pure fat in eight weeks. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to do the challenge, um, but did she say studies? One study, and she's already said this ten different ways already. Line clinical studies where the average participant lost over twenty-one pounds of pure fat in eight weeks, and you can only get it from one company, and we're still in pre-launch. Seventeen. Okay, simple, right? And so I know I went through Project Broadcast really fast, but it's it's simple, and I'm here to help you guys. If you are in, you know, setting it up and you're stuck, send me a message. But I would rewatch this because it's very simple to set it up. I'm going to go back there really quick. Once you have your Project Broadcast set up, you're just going to hit the key at the top. This key at the top. Then you're going to hit the plus sign. You're going to enter in a keyword. Okay. You're going to save it. We're just going to do that. <laughs> and then you're going to go down to reply message. And there's lots of other things to do with Project Broadcast, but I'm taking you through the simple just to capture your leads. Okay. Reply message. Hit this little edit button. Edit. Type in your message. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Go back and look at mine. If, um, rewind this video or rewatch it and literally write word for word what I did, except for using your name and your group, et cetera. Um, and then you're going to hit the save button up here. You're going to save it. And now your project broadcast is set up. Now you can have people text the keyword and put that in, in text bubble on your TikTok. And bada boom, bada bing, you have a way to generate and capture those leads, okay? So I'm going to stop my screen share. Your challenge is to go recreate that TikTok and post it to your reels as well. Um, and you're going to start making regular TikToks and reels every day. If you really want to generate endless leads on TikTok and Facebook reels, you need to put up at least one per day um, in the beginning for a while. You want to do product and opportunity regularly. Like I want to say three to five times per week, you should have your product benefits and opportunity TikTok and reels. Three to five times TikTok, three to five TikToks per week on your product and your opportunity. And then the other ones should be your your topics, your passions, your hobbies, where you're providing value. You want to TikTok's all about education solving problems, inspiration, entertainment. Okay. So be just like you show up on Facebook to entertain, inspire, educate. You want to do that in TikTok using 15 to 30 second clips. Okay. Use trending sounds, use trending videos. This was a super basic training. I could go on and on about more about trending sounds and hash hashtags and all of it. But right now I just want to keep this super basic. So you just start taking action. I hope this was valuable. If it was hashtag value below, love you guys. I want to see you blow it up on TikTok and reels. Keep me posted. Okay. Bye-bye. Um, it was helpful for me, actually, now that I mention it, because I got this video out of it. Mm. <laughs> oh, she's terrible, isn't she? And she's not even following what her own thing is saying, because she was she's only ever talking about the product. All right, um, I'm going to leave it there, and we are going to try to, I don't know, forget what a menace to society she is. I can't believe that fucking coolio. <laughs> I know I probably won't be able to play the song. I just, I pinged for doing like a little tiny bit of candy shop from anti MLM and Nicole. I'm, I'm going to see what I, I might be able to dispute it. Yeah. All right. Please like and subscribe. That would be fantastic. We're nearly, we head towards 500. Woof. And yeah, it's great. If you've got anything else, I'm I'm pretty all over the way awake and stuff just being in the group that I'm in. But always Veronica Bay. We got a new Veronica Bay X X downlines. Hit me up because I really wanna I really wanna talk about her. Okay, thanks everybody. Sorry the video cut out. Uh, at the end there and hopefully you have a great rest of your week and goodbye <music>